at 5 ILS DME glide slope shows 2 dot fly up indication below the aircraft is an obstacle of 71 meter height find the clearance of the aircraft above the obstacle the glide slope CDI is doing 2 dot fly up so we don't bother about localizer here and we assume a 5 dot system it is showing 2 dot fly up this is the first dot second dot fly up what is the maximum force field reflection of a glide slope CDI? 0 0.7. So this will minus to 0 0.7 divided by 5 into 2. Fine. Since nothing is mentioned, we are considering again a 3 degree glide slope, and you're below the required glide slope by. 0 0.28 yes degrees all right so what does the dma distance is five nautical miles from threshold this is five nautical miles from threshold the aircraft is over here on this particular slope. what are we trying to do here is we are trying to find the height of aircraft and then kind of comparing the obstacle and see how it works all right how will you find the height of the aircraft using the uh, normal formula glide slope is 2.72 Current so glide, the glide slope, slope here is 3 minus 0 0.28 which is 2.72 degrees. So take the glide slope of 2.72, we multiply with 100 100 over 5 nautical miles. How much is that? It is giving me 1360 feet. 1360 feet, yes. What is the obstacle here? 21 meters. Obstacle height is 71. Now this is something we have to consider. It is 71 meters. Do not forget that. So, what is 71 meters in feet? 233 feet. So one meter is 3.28 feet. Great. So, 71 into 3.28. You can use your nav computer, unit conversion tab. You can use what is the answer? What is that? 233 feet across. It's 232.8. So we definitely have a clearance here. So there's an obstacle here which is of height 232.8 feet. Therefore, what is the uh, clearance of the aircraft? 1127 feet. That is 1360 is 1127 feet. Do not put 71 straight here and subtract. Remember 71 is in meters, the other is in feet. So be very careful with the units.